Let's take a look at the greatest common factor and factoring by grouping. Factor means to write as a product. There are different methods of factoring. Our first one is GCF. And I'll put an asterisk by it. We always try to do this one. Mostly you just look at it and see if they have something in common. The GCF uh, stands for greatest common factor. Second method is grouping and this is when you have four or more terms. Our third method is PSD and that's when it's of the form x squared plus bx plus c Our fourth method is the key number, and that's when it's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Our fifth method is dots, that stands for difference two squares, and that's when it's two terms with a minus between them. Now our sixth one, now the first five are the important ones. These are the ones that you see a lot in math and you need to have, to have down. These last two are not as important. Excuse me. The sixth one is the difference of two cubes. And this is two terms with a minus between them. And our seventh one is the sum of two cubes, which is two terms with a plus between them. <coughs> Let's look at our first problem. We got uh, 5a plus 15. Now here we got two terms, terms separated by pluses and minuses. And for the GCF, uh, number wise, you look at the 5 and 15, and you think of the largest number that divides into both of those. And that would be 5. So we're going to factor that out. Factor means divide out, because uh, that's how you create a product, is by dividing out. Well, 5 divided by 5 is 1, the A remains, plus 15 divided by 5 is 3. And we never leave the 1 there, so it's just 5 times A plus 3. And that's your answer. Let's look at another one. <coughs> Number 2, we got 20 A squared B to the 5th, minus... 24 a to the seventh b to the third now looking at the numbers I got 20 and 24 the largest number divides in both those is 4 now here I have two a's and here I have seven a's you want to factor out the most a's you can but I can't factor out seven a's if this one only has two so it's always one of the smaller set exponent. So I'll factor on a squared. Now here I got five b's and here I got three b's. Again, I want to factor out the most b's I can, but I can't factor out five b's if this one only has three. So it's always one of the smallest exponent. So it's b to the third. Now twenty divided by four is five, and I always tell people when they're learn, uh, learning these for the first time to kind of visualize it. Uh, you have two a's sitting on the table. Somebody comes and takes two of them away. Well, you don't have a, any A's left. You have five B's sitting on the table. Somebody comes up there and takes three of them away. That leaves you two B's. Minus 24 divided by 4 is 6. 
I had seven A's, I took two of them away, so I got five A's left. And I had three B's and I took all three away, so there's no B's left. So this would be your answer. Let's take a look at our third example. We got uh, 3x to the third plus 9x to the 7th, <coughs> minus 21x to the 4th, minus 81x to the 5th. Well, now i got four terms. So I'm looking at all four terms. Number-wise, i got 3, 9, 21, and 81. Largest number divides into all four of those numbers is 3. Now x's. I have three x's here, 7x's, 4x's, 5x's. So the one with the smallest exponent is x to the third. So that's what we'll factor out. Well, 3 divided by 3 is 1. We had three x's. I took all three away, so there's no x's left. Plus, 9 divided by 3 is 3. I had seven x's. took three of them away. So that leaves me four x's. Minus 21 divided by 3 is 7. I had four x's. I took three of them away, so that leaves me one x. Minus... 81 divided by 3 gives us 27. I had 5x's. I took 3 of them away, so that leaves me 2x's. And um, this would be our answer. We're going to see later on that it's going to be important for us to put things in standard form uh, before we factor. Not so important in this because they're just wanting to factor out of GCF. But standard form would mean we go from our largest power down to our smallest. So we'd start with x to the seventh, go to the x to the fifth, then x to the fourth, then x to the third. Now this one has a note that goes along with it. It's number four. We got negative thirty-two x to the third plus twelve x squared plus 10x. And our note says if your first term is negative always factor out a negative. Well, my first term here is negative, so I know I'm going to bring a negative out. Now looking at the numbers, 32, 12, and 10. Largest number divides into all those, I believe, is 2. Now here we have x to the third, here we have x squared, and here we have x to the first. If you just have x, that's like the first power. So our one with the smallest exponent is the first power, so I'll factor out an x. Now negative 32 divided by negative 2 gives us positive 16. We had 3x's and took 1 away, so that leaves me 2x's. 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. I had two x's. I took one away, so that leaves me a single x. 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. I had one x. I took it away. And that's our answer. Number 5. We have a times a minus 7 plus 3 times 8 minus 7. Sometimes you have a number in common. Sometimes you have a, a, an x to a power or any variable to a power. Sometimes you have anything in common. Notice in this problem, they both have an a minus 7. So I'm going to factor out the a minus 7. Now to decide what goes in your second set of parentheses, you can cross out the a minus 7s now. And what isn't crossed out is what goes in your second set of parentheses. So this would be a plus 3. And that's your answer. Again, they can have anything in common. Now when I say um, anything, this first part here is considered a group because it's a times a minus 7. And the second part is considered a group, a 3 times a minus 7. And this plus what separates the groups.
Now the um, the next problem is grouping. It tells you to use that, but even if it didn't, we would still use grouping. With grouping, there's um, three three things to try. First thing we'll do is we'll try equal groups. If that doesn't work, then you rearrange. So you rearrange the terms and try equal groups. And we'll see what I mean by equal groups here in a minute. And if that doesn't work, then you try unequal groups. So this problem, we have 2x squared plus 6x plus bx plus 3b. Now unfortunately they tell us to use factoring by grouping, but if I come up to our, our methods, first thing you try is GCF. Uh, they don't have a GCF. All four terms don't have anything in common. Three of them have x's. A couple of them are divisible by 3, a couple of them are divisible by 2, two of them have b's, um, but all four terms have nothing in common. Grouping. When it's four or more terms, you have to use grouping. Or try it anyway. But what I mean by equal groups is we group the first two together, we group the last two together. Now you want to group them by putting lines underneath like what I just did here, or mentally group them. Uh, don't um, put parentheses. That usually messes people up. Now, looking at only our, first, only at our first group, the 2x squared plus 6x, you ask yourself what GCF is. And that'd be 2x. You want to factor that out, that gives me x plus 3. Then, looking at only your second group, you ask yourself what your GCF is. And that would be b. And that gives us x plus 3. Now, your goal in grouping is to get this parentheses the same as this, which they are. So I'll factor out the x plus 3. And uh, remember, you can cross those off to see what goes in your second set of parentheses. So 2x plus b would go here. And that's our answer. Let me grab a drink here. Mm. Uh, let's look at this next one. We got MN plus 5M minus 7N minus 35. Oh, um, I didn't say it, but there's no GCF. Uh, look at all four terms, they have nothing in common. Uh, four more terms tells us grouping. We have no choice. So we'll group the first two together, group the last two together. Now, looking at only the first group, you ask yourself what the GCF is, and they both have an M. So I factor that out, and that gives us N plus 5. Now, looking at only our second group, um, I notice they're both divisible by 7, and my first term is negative, so I want to factor out a negative 7. Remember a note up here, if first term is negative, always factor out a negative. Um, and that gives us N, the negative 7 goes away, and we get left with N. Negative 35 divided by negative 7 is a positive 5. Again, our goal is to get this parentheses the same as that, which it is. So I'll factor out the n plus 5. To see what goes in your second set of parentheses, remember you can cross out the n plus 5's. And this is m minus 7. And that's our answer. Let's take a look at this problem. Got x to the third minus 3x plus 4x squared minus 12. Um, GCF. There isn't any. Some of them have x's, some of them divisible by 3, some of them divisible by 4, but all four terms have nothing in common. So I use factoring by grouping. This is four more terms. Group first two terms together, group last two terms together. Looking at my first two terms, the GCF of those is x, and that gives us x squared minus 3. Our second group, uh, the GCF is 4. 
and that gives us x squared minus 3. Again, our goal is to get this parenthesis the same as that, which it is. So I factor out an x squared minus 3. And remember, you can cross those out to see what goes into your second set of parentheses. So I cross those out. And uh, we get x plus 4. And that's our answer. And actually, that's the end of that section, too.